Hello dear students, we are on with electrophilic substitution reaction of toluene. Today we'll take one more electrophilic substitution and that is friedel craft alkylation reaction of toluene. This is your toluene and we want to perform friedel craft alkylation. Just recall your memories, we have already performed it for benzene reaction instead of benzene we are taking toluene and in the benzene portion we have again took one part of friedel craft reaction which was proceeding from toluene so first i'll repeat that and if you remember in that episode i had said i did tell you that i am going to take one more reaction of toluene with methyl chloride so today we'll take that reaction as well but first will complete the reaction which we are already have completed in the benzene section. Let's see. This is toluene. We'll perform the friedel craft reaction. Methyl chloride. So that is, I'll write short FC reaction. That is friedel craft reaction with methyl chloride. The specific precise reagent for the reaction is as you know AlCl3 that is aluminium chloride but one should always be very much accurate about the catalyst or the reagent and that is that we are going to take not AlCl3 but a anhydrous form of aluminium chloride only then and then the reaction is going to proceed not otherwise. That is what we have detailed in our benzene friedel craft alkylation reaction. So here methyl chloride has to participate in the reaction. Chlorine is more electronegative than carbon to which it is bonded. And as a result, chlorine has the tendency to pull away the electron of carbon towards it. Thus, aluminium chloride which has three valence electrons, that is aluminium has three valence electrons and it is bonded to Cl. So, here you can see it is AlCl3 well, uh, you can consider it more balanced state, more stable state. But it is anhydrous form and that prompts one Cl from methyl chloride to bond with AlCl3. And as a result, that Cl comes along with the lone pair and forms a bond with AlCl3, giving you AlCl4 minus. On the other hand, the methyl group which is bonded to Cl, it attains the plus sign. This is your methylenium ion or you can consider it as an electrophile. And as we are undergoing the electrophilic substitution reaction, this electrophile will get attracted towards the benzene ring which is rich with the pi electron cloud. So what happens? This CF3 plus wants to attack the benzene nucleus but it is the existing methyl group as you know it is having the ortho para directing effect as it is electron donating group. So due to that this is what we have again I would re repeat it repeatedly repeated that we have taken all these fundas all these details all these mechanism aspects in our electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene so if you are directly coming on this video i would advise you to first go to the specific video and then come back you will enjoy more so this is what we are carrying on as it is op directing group the incoming group gets directed on ortho as well as para position. This is toluene I am showing again. Now the incoming group wants to get on ortho and para because the group is directing to ortho and para. Now what happens? The H bonded to the carbon leaves the carbon leaving its electron on carbon carbon becomes electron rich this methyl group is electron poor and as a result the electron rich and electron poor combines together and that forms a bond between carbon and 
methyl group carbon same thing happens on the para position and as a result you can see you are getting o xylene and p xylene o stands for ortho p for para it depends on the position of the functional groups okay so now the h which has left the carbon as you know it has attained the plus sign and that h plus combines with the cl of ch3cl and if we are showing this as two moles will take balancing will perform balancing by placing two over there and as a result i'll get two moles of hydrochloric acid as a byproduct the overall reaction occurs at 384 kelvin temperature so you can see it is 111 degree celsius temperature now this is what we have already learned in the case of benzene reaction that we performed now the new reaction for you totally new that is what i am going to take is from toluene again interesting it is now see this toluene is again reacted with methyl chloride temperature is again maintained at 111 degrees celsius or it's little bit greater than that so you can consider it as 384 Kelvin. Okay, fine. Now the interesting part, the twist, the change, the modification, the difference, what we were going to study now is carried out in this particular step. The methylation process is the same. We are going on with the methyl chloride reaction. So it is methylation reaction, alkylation reaction that is there, everything same. But the catalyst over here was anhydrous AlCl3. Now we are taking a new catalyst as hydrogen fluoride, boron trifluoride, HF, BF3. And as you introduce this catalyst in the reaction of toluene, the whole scenario changes. Now we have repeatedly talked about the existing group having its directive effect that is there we all know very well methyl group is electron donating group and so it is an op directing group fine but now hfbf3 reagent is such where you have fluorine the highest ever electronegative element in the whole periodic table the highest ever electronegative element and due to that the effect of the methyl group compared to this gets lowered or reduced and as a result these two presence of these two compounds in the solution the incoming methyl group the incoming methyl group of ch3cl will not get directed either on ortho or on para but an exceptionally fantastic reaction where the group gets directed onto the meta position so mind you even though the already existing group that is methyl group is op directing group the incoming methyl group due to presence of hf bf3 gets directed onto the meta position and the compound obtained is meta xylene this is an exceptional case in the electrophilic substitution reaction where even though the group is an op directing group as there is change in the catalyst a heavy catalyst with electronegativity effect deprives or reduces the effect of the methyl group and guides the incoming group on meta position and not on ortho and para position so this is very very important reaction to understand and to learn so this was what i was talking during the reaction of benzene when we had uh, come across toluene and its further alkylation by the way i think you all are very much thorough with the reaction the byproduct also remains the same as hcl because the h which got eliminated combines with the cl of methyl chloride so this is your friedelkraft alkylation reaction of toluene we'll have one more electrophilic substitution in the form of acylation reaction of toluene and after that we can say once we complete that 
we will say that all the electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene and toluene will be considered to be over but we'll meet for one more reaction that is electrophilic substitution reaction in the form of acylation right till then i can say you prepare it very well and we'll continue with the same by the way if you have any doubt regarding the uh, reaction or so you can just mail me to styrene1411 at gmail.com or you can write a question in the comment section of the same video right have a nice day